Hey, so I got a question about PHP. What do you think about PHP evolution over time and it's version 8.x? So version 8, last time I checked, is basically an enterprise enabling version. They're essentially adding features and capabilities to PHP to make it more enterprise friendly. Enterprise means very large corporations. So that's a cool thing. Even though it's a cool thing, I think that PHP 8's capabilities will have very little impact on 99% of PHP programmers out there because PHP is more or less dominated by small, perhaps medium-sized businesses. But that doesn't take away from its ability to be able to handle very large projects. Remember, Facebook is PHP-based. Uh, I know other large corporations will use PHP as the backbone of their uh, infrastructure. So it's a very capable language. It's a very capable platform, if you will. I wouldn't be too concerned about that. In fact, any of the languages out there, any of the big ones, uh, PHP, JavaScript, uh, Java, C Sharp, uh, Python, they're all capable in terms of being, uh, being able to handle very large applications. Those... Um, those days of optimization are far less important nowadays. It's just the nature of the technology. How about PHP's evolution as a language? Well, PHP has a, a very pragmatic and colorful history. It was originally designed not as a programming language. It was originally designed as a templating language. The guy who created PHP envisioned people writing the business logic in some back-end language, like a C++ or C or something. But what happened, he saw that people were starting to kind of shoehorn it into programming uh, task. So he started adding to it, giving it more programming capabilities. And of those early days of PHP, you can see it was kind of like an ad hoc type of development. Oh, we need this, we need that, we need this, we need that. Because of its loosey-goosey nature in the early days, I'm talking PHP 2.3, it, uh, it got a reputation as being uh, very uh, inconsistent, uh, being a security risk. And these things were true back then because most of the people jumping into PHP world had no background in programming and no training. So he wanted to make, well, he, the founder, uh, he wanted to make PHP as easy as possible for people to use. And that was part of its strength. And that's why it grew into such so quickly in popularity, because it was so approachable versus other languages. That ease of use became a liability because, first of all, you had a lot, bunch of crappy PHP code being written by people who didn't know how to write code. Uh, number two, uh, to make it easy for people to use PHP, it created all these security uh, r risk, all these security holes. And so they started fixing that in PHP 4 and up, slowly closing things up, slowly making it more, um, uh, more solid, safer. And I think with PHP, when I got to 5X level, it became pretty solid. It became pretty full featured. 7 was a big optimization upgrade. Uh, PHP 7 is like 50% uh, faster than PHP 5.6, if I recall. PHP 8 is a little bit faster than 7, but the main advantages of PHP 8 is really for the enterprise. So there you go. PHP is an example of uh, technology being developed, being developed on a need-to-nerd basis, if you will. And it's very productive in that you can get people up and running with PHP very, very quickly. It is, uh, you can tell its legacy is web. You can do all kinds of different things with PHP, but 99.9% .9 of the work is web-based, and that's what it's optimized for. So it's really easy to get people up and running, and that's an important con consideration when you are a product owner. Do you want to have an infrastructure that will take three, four months to get a new student or a new employee up and running with, or do you want a technology that will take a few days? That's a key consideration. Anyway, that's my thoughts on PHP 8 and its evolution. It's uh, a pragmatic language uh, developed in the wild, so that gives me a bias in its favor, I suppose. It's uh, definitely sticking around for a long time.